What's up lovely people this is Sushan once again from Switch to Y in this brand new Alight Motion episode 2 we are going to learn how to create a YouTube uh, 3D logo uh, inside Alight Motion uh, it is also called as uh, 3D intro flip rotate logo uh, here is the demo how it's look so let me turn on the screen recording whether you have iPhone or Android, uh, both the steps will be same on both the platform. Let's start creating the project by tapping the green icon. Uh, instead of project, we are going to create elements and over here we are going to type the project YouTube 3D flip rotate or rotate intro intro a resolution will be 4k and frame rate will be 24 frame and background will be transparent okay the first step will be first we are going to add the youtube logo you can find it from the flat icon or just type uh, youtube png or any other social media you want to use it here from the media we are going to add our logo this is the first part and we are going to stretch this animation till 3 seconds like this okay let's see let's leave on one 3 second okay and now select the clip and go to move and transform we are going to scale down this logo till 700 okay uh, till 700 we are going to scale down this perfect okay now we have to give some keyframing so what we are going to do we are going to give the keyframing by adding the first keyframe and move the second keyframe till one second like this okay and go to the first keyframe again and it will be zero zero okay and now we have to give the curve means we have to give the keyframing a curve of ease in and out like this and do the exact same settings and play the animation wonderful like this again select the clip then select the logo and in move and transform go to rotate like this and create a keyframe from the start point till one second like this and go to the start point again and move this first keyframe till 16 degree okay and give the same curve over here of ease in is out see settings and let's play it perfect it's rotating and perfect now again select the logo and this time we are going to add effect because we need to flip the logo for that we are going to add flip effect it will give little 3dness to the logo like this and select standard settings okay and in the flip and layer we have to choose this angle parameter and go to the start point to make a keyframe and till one second okay and what we have to do we have to move this to again start first keyframe and angle will be minus 200 minus 200 uh, yes perfect okay perfect 
and we have to give the keyframing over here put the is in is out curve and no need to give any changes over here here our first part is ready just we have to give more depth to the logo right now it's looking very much flat for that select and go to border and shadows and tab on the shadow option turn on this and give the size of the shadow will be 5 enough see here we have the depth now of a shadow almost our logo is ready just we have to add swipe effect means the logo will move from center to the left for that select the clip go to move and transform and we have to make a keyframe from 11th frame like this till 2 seconds 2 seconds like this okay and now we have to move this switch to the second uh, keyframe and move this to the swipe left like this till 2 to 7 or 6 okay till uh, y x value will be 1 2 2 7 okay i am repeating the value x value will be 1 2 2 7 and we need to give the curve over here of is in is out like this perfect okay so almost it's done now we have to create the text for that tab on this text layer and type your name s w i t s c s switch to i like this okay and make it bigger till maybe 96 is okay 96 size and select some bold font and select black right now but while exporting I am going to select white there is no uh, thumb rule uh, you need a white color font or black color font you can choose whatever you like but always uh, prefer white color for the logo animation or black like this and okay okay and now stretch this text till three seconds like this perfect now we have to make change in this text layer for that select this layer and move and transform try to arrange properly like this okay it's looking perfect not too far away from the logo like this okay perfect now we have to give the key framing for that uh, move the playhead till 18 second is perfect and go to this move and transform tap the first keyframe and move till 2 second like this okay so move to this first keyframe and swipe it to the left like this okay i think it should hide be it should it should hide uh, below the logo for that we are going to move this like this okay perfect okay just we have to uh, add some motion for that select the text layer again go to move and transform go to curve editor and we are going to give is out 
I think it's perfect. And see, let's see. Okay. Uh, let me ch make change in keyframing again of the text. This is okay. It's perfect. Let me play it. Wow. Okay. Now we have to hide this text because it's disturbing our logo and it's not looking nice. For that, we need to create a mask. For that, tab on this green icon, go to shapes and we are going to create a rectangle. Create a rectangle and hide. Hide, okay. Okay like this okay and go to this color and sorry blending and opacity and create a mask tab on this mask option boom and move this first stretch to start keyframe and make it till three seconds like this okay and move above this text like this it should be the rectangle should be above the text so it will work like this see perfect okay see so like this you can create a cool 3d animated uh, logo for your channel for the social media you can change the icon just select this uh, YouTube logo and go to colors and fill select media and you can choose any other logo right now I am not having yes I'm having media and select it okay you can scale down if you wish see it's done like this you can change the logo if you want it okay now I will show you about the exporting part for that select this uh, text and first we are going to make change in text color it will be white like this and tab on export these are the settings H265HEVC frame rate will be full you can select 4K resolution and quality will be 24 Mbps you can select more higher but there is no need 24 will work fine 24 25 okay and you can export this and you can import like this over here uh, using any video editing app i like luma fusion uh, most so you can drag and drop like this in a simple way I hope you love this video tutorial then give a big thumbs up and share with your friends. See you very soon in the new amazing video till then take care stay safe. Bye bye.